Good morning and a warm welcome live here from Chester Zoo. Um, we know you're all in isolation so we wanted to give you a second instalment of Chester Zoo virtual day at the zoo. My name is David White and I'm one of the team managers here at Chester Zoo. Um, I look after a, mon a number of uh, different big creatures at the zoo, ranging from tree kangaroos to sloth. But today I'm really excited to show you our mob of meerkats that you can see behind us. So, just giving them their breakfast, um, we can put them in a, uh, an enrichment feeder. Um, meerkats are, are great foragers and spend a lot of their day foraging for food. Um, they have these really long claws, as you can see at the front. Um, great for um, rooting around in the floor, looking for grubs. So what we've given them is, uh, we've given them some bamboo feeders here. Um, and what I'm just about to do now is uh, I'm just give them some mealworms this morning. So I'm just going to load up this enrichment feeder with some mealworms. And then pop it down on the floor here and you can watch them go about their business foraging. And this time of the day is a perfect time to get up close and personal with our mob. Um, we have 14 here, headed by Husky and Beagle, who are the head of the group. And you may notice some size differences with some of our meerkats. We have uh, the youngest ones, which are um, actually five weeks tomorrow. Um, you'll notice that the adults uh, are trying to sort of teach them um, how to forage. Um, you can see them getting their, their little core in there, rummage around for mealworms. Now the life starts out for the young meerkats in, a, in an artificial nest box. Um, they don't leave their box until about three weeks of three weeks of age when they start rooting around the entrance to the nest box. And following that, they start coming out foraging with the with the rest of the group, and the rest of the group teaches them the ways of being a meerkat. So one of the things we can do whilst we're uh, whilst they're out forage. Some people ask us how we manage a large group like this. We have 14 meerkats and they all look very similar. So what I have here is a, is a, is a microchip reader. Uh, it's a microchip reader. And basically while the head's down, we can scan them. And this basically gives a unique number. Just inside them is a very small chip, which is a, like a bit of a grain of rice, really. And it's all unique to each of these individual meerkats. We have a little ID chart here all with all their IDs and I can tell exactly which animal it is. So it's one of the ways that we, we use uh, microchips to identify our animals. Now as you can see the meerkats are perfectly adapted um, for their life in semi-arid deserts. Um, coming from southern parts of Africa. And you can see we've replicated this uh, sort of environment here at Chester Zoo. They have a very uh, stony, sandy substrate that they can dig around in and forage around. We bury food. Um, and also, as you can see around the paddock here, they can dig their own holes. It's amazing how quickly the, these little fellas can uh, dig their own holes. And it's to make artificial burrows. And also, they will spend time out on sentry. Actually, Steve, just pop. Pop up here is a, is a great example of what meerkats do best and what they're well known for. This little guy's on sentry duty, looking out over the, uh, the rest of the mob whilst they're foraging. And if you listen carefully, you can probably hear them communicating. Meerkats use a lot of different sounds to talk to each other within the group. I like them to just tell each other where they are. The sentry, if he's on, once he's on lookout, if he sees a predator, whether it's a bird of prey, which is a, a predator of the meerkats, he will give an alarm call and they will all dive for cover. As you can see, they're, they're a busy little creature um, going about their natural behaviour, foraging for food, using those long claws to really get in there and get those mealworms out. 
So the, the feed for the today, well for this morning, are mealworms. Um, they predominantly eat a lot of insect life, um, but they will eat also uh, eggs and uh, small mammals that they find. So we try and replicate that at the zoo with as close a diet as we can. As you can see, they're a very curious creature. So the mob here um, headed by Husky and Beagle. Um, so it's 14 strong mob. All of these are offspring of, uh, of Husky and Beagle, all of varying ages. The oldest are coming up to three years old. So the youngest of the little pups just right in front here. There's a little pup foraging around, being shown by the adults what to eat. And also, the rest of the mob are really looking out for the for the group whilst they're uh, whilst they're foraging and going about their business. So say these are perfectly adapted for the environment that they live in. Um, if you look at this, uh, as the sun comes out, you'll see them uh, seeking the sun, almost sun worshipping. That's because they've got very, very thin fur on their chest. And actually their skin's quite black, so it attracts the heat and warms them up in the morning before they go out on their foraging runs. They also as well, when they're digging in the sand, they have special protection over their ears and eyes to stop dust and debris going in their eyes. This is, this is a mob of 14 meerkats. Uh, in the wild they can have get up to about 50 animals and uh, you imagine that's quite a formidable, um, formidable sight for any prey item. Um, and even if they come across other mobs, what they tend to do you'll see their uh, they almost like little radio control cars with their tails in the air and that's uh, the first form of defence to wear off any, any uh, potential predator. Also if you notice around their eyes as well, they've got these sort of black masks. Again that detects light and sunlight. Certainly helps for the sentry when he's on duty. So I hope you're finding this really interesting at, at home or wherever you're watching it. Um, if you comment where you're watching it from, that'd be great. Um, we're here throughout the day doing this virtual zoo tour live at Chester Zoo. Um, it'd be great to read some of your comments. Hopes for you. seeing the uh, meerkat mob here has been a bit of a distraction for your, for your day and you're thoroughly enjoying getting up close and personal with our group here.
Actually, if you can see over the back there how much work they've been doing. These are all the tunnels that the meerkats have built themselves. So as a, as a, as a keeper looking after meerkats, one of the things you have to watch is uh, for the holes in your ankles. There you can see. See a meerkat in action there. This is uh, one of uh, Meerkat's natural predators, it's the helicopter. So you can see there uh, how quickly they retreat. A couple are still staying on sentry just to double check what it actually is, but all the rest knew exactly where they wanted to go. They, they retreated to their nest boxes, and once uh, that threat's over, they will come back out again. But it's a good example there. Still just sort of checking out, making sure that threat's passed. Still hanging around the nest, nest box entrance there, just in case. So of course, meerkats became really popular with uh, films and adverts, certainly a certain little meerkat in The Lion King. So they became really, a really popular animal, raised the profile of them. But in essence, they, um, they don't make really good pets. Um, 
They live in you know, large family groups. They're quite aggressive. They scent mark. So the best thing to do is uh, show some interest in them and uh, perhaps adopt one of our meerkats here at Chester Zoo. It's a great opportunity. You can come in any day of the week to see them um, and see them going about their business here. Um, and it all contributes to the upkeep of, these, of this little group. Okay, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed um, meeting our mob of meerkats here. We're here all day at Chester Zoo in this virtual zoo. The next, uh, tune in at 11 o'clock where you'll be meeting the eastern black rhinos. Um, stay safe, take care, and hope to see you all soon here at Chester Zoo. Thanks very much.